the University of Nevada, Las Vegas School of Medicine. That's it. That's the video. Like and subscribe. All right, so any of you guys who have been following me on Instagram probably already saw, but I posted that I'm officially attending UNLV School of Medicine for the class of 2024. This is really exciting. You know, it's so nice to just know what school I'm going to after like, you know, applying. I opened up my application like a year ago in May, and now I can finally say, this is the school I'm going to. I start July 13th of this summer, you know, it's so nice to have those answers and to be able to tell people that that's what I'm doing rather than explaining where I'm at in my application cycle and you know what I'm still waiting for. Even after getting my first acceptance, I still had interviews, I still had to make decisions and it's such a relieving feeling to finally just say, this is where I'm going, I start this date and I am so excited. I kind of just want to go through a couple of reasons why I chose the school because you know, there's no perfect school. Every school is going to have its, you know, things that are awesome and things that are not as awesome. And it's really not about picking the perfect school. It's about picking the one that's right for you and that's, you know, perfect for what you want to do. And the important things that I'm going to go over are the location, tuition, board prep, residency, uh, opportunities, and a couple other reasons why I chose UNLV School of Medicine. First off, the location, you know, I was raised here in Las Vegas, Nevada. I went to UNLV for undergrad and to be able to continue my education with UNLV here in Las Vegas, where I do want to practice medicine. I want to become a Las Vegas physician and Nevada physician, and it's just perfect with what I want to do. I can make connections here over the next four years with my peers, with other physicians, attendings, and it's just an awesome opportunity to learn in the state that you want to practice in. Secondly, the tuition, like you can't go wrong with $27,000 to $30,000 per year for tuition compared to some of the other schools I'd gotten into, which were like 60 grand a year, 27,000 or 20, you know, 30,000 is amazing. That is like perfect. The class size is nice and small. It's about 60 students, which is perfect. I don't like, you know, big, uh, like auditoriums and lectures full of students. One of the schools I got into had like a class size of 220, which I just feel like I would not feel as individualized and you know, get as much attention, you know, from the faculty and whatnot. I, I want to feel like I can get really close with my classmates and my peers and my faculty. And I think it's so much easier in a smaller class. Next up is board prep and the way that they grade. So I actually learned this morning that um, UNLV does a pass fail. So it's like a 70% cutoff for, you know, passing an exam, which I think is great. One of my um, picks for DO, one of the schools I got into, one thing I really liked about their school that almost made me choose it back when I, you know, had that acceptance was that they did pass fail and, you know, research shows that students are a lot less stressed out when they only have to pass an exam versus when they're being actually graded. And we kind of know now that residency programs are looking more at your step exams, you know, letters of rec, things you're doing during your clinical years to where they're kind of saying, you know, maybe pass fail is going to be the option. And they're kind of doing that with step as well. And so I was really happy to find that out and I learned from a first year student that they actually use recycled MBME questions, which is also great because I wanna know that what I'm being tested on in my lectures is gonna help me prepare for STEP because as we all know, that is a huge determiner and you know, what residencies you can even be competitive for and pretty much sets up your career. Speaking of residency opportunities, the UNLV School of Medicine has already had a lot of um, residency programs set up. We just didn't have an actual med school here. So about 20% of the residents here in Las Vegas are from Nevada schools. But before UNLV, there was just a School of North, UNR, which is in Reno, and Toro, which is the DO school here. And so with UNLV, I'm, I'm gonna be in their fourth year class. So their first class ever is gonna be fourth years this year. So they'll be becoming residents next year. I think we're gonna see that 20% go higher and they're gonna start kind of pushing their students to go into their own residency programs because a lot of the mission statement for UNLV is to provide new physicians for Nevada and you know, in, you know, meet that increased demand and need that Nevada has for physicians right now, which is perfect for me because I wanna become a Nevada physician. I wanna practice in Las Vegas one day. And a lot of the residency programs that we have here are ones that I've considered maybe going into one day, such as ER, um, internal medicine, because I'm thinking about maybe oncology, uh, we have a general surgery residency, we have orthopedic residency. So rather than me having to compete for like residencies outside of Nevada, I feel so much more confident knowing that I probably have a better chance of getting into these Nevada residencies versus, you know, people outside of Nevada. And so, yeah, those are pretty much the reasons why I like, as soon as I got the acceptance for UNLV, I was pretty set on it. And I was really excited to, you know, accept the admission and, 
start this coming summer. We actually just had a brunch over Zoom and I already feel very well integrated into the class. I feel like everyone's so friendly and social. I feel like I'm gonna blend in very well and everyone's gonna be just super friendly and it's really, really exciting. So next week I'm gonna actually film my entire recap of my application cycle, including like number of applications, interviews, the interviews I went on, acceptances, rejections, like everything I'm just gonna put into a video next week and just be done with the application cycle. Just, you know, stop thinking about it. No longer be an applicant, not even just, you know, you know, it's a lot of weight when you're just thinking about it and you're on it, you know, in the cycle for like the entire year. It's, it's so nice to just say, I'm going here. I'm going to start medical school here on this day. And that's it. It's such a good feeling in this past week since being accepted and being integrated into the new class. I, I feel so like de-stressed and it's such a good feeling. Anyways, make sure to follow me on Instagram. If you guys have any questions you want to ask me, you guys can DM me on there. Otherwise, I actually just opened up a Discord um, last night for you know medical students, pre-meds, MCAT studiers, all that, that I think would be a really fun you know social hub for you guys to just be able to interact, ask questions real time. I know a lot of people use like internet forums, like Reddit, but I thought it'd be really nice to kind of start a you know, a uh, discussion area board where people can just pop in, type in the chat, get questions answered, interact with each other, meet each other, and support each other through this process. And so I'm gonna have the link in the description below. Make sure to join that. I'm gonna be active in it. Uh, I think it's gonna be a really awesome resource for you guys, you know, once it kind of, you know, a lot of people, members start joining into there. Anyways, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.